Now, away from that, socioeconomic rights and accountability project SERAP, journalists and other media practitioners have called for the review and amendment of the Cybercrime Act in Nigeria. They noted that sections 24, 38 and 48 of the Act are inimical to the freedom of speech and fundamental human rights in Nigeria. The call was made at a one-day media interactive session on constitutional and legality of the Cybercrime Act organized by SERAP. SERAP Executive Director Adeto Kumbwa Mumuni said the organization is not advocating for a press without control, but for the respect of the fundamental human rights and freedom of speech for journalists and every other Nigerian. In his presentation, the facilitator at the event, Taya Oyetibo, who was represented at Mufeshomo Oyetibo, said, the act has been under criticisms as regards its constitutionality, but it's the only act that takes care of cyber crimes in the country today. A legal practitioner, Malaki Uguma, called for the adjustment of the act to make it less subjective. Why Serap is not asking for a, a, a press without control? That would be even dangerous in a democratic environment. But Serap will not support, no matter how it is built, an attempt to limit the civic space. As human life has increased in complexity over the centuries, so have crimes and criminals also grown in complexity and relative ease. With the advent and widespread use of the internet, a new species of crime, previously unknown to and not contemplated by criminal statutes, known as cybercrime, was born and developed in both complexity and proliferation. Like many other countries around the world, Nigeria could not ignore cyber crimes and had to enact specific legislation to deal with such crimes that are not necessarily captured by the general criminal statutes. It has very scant recognition of the fundamental rights of Nigerians, including media practitioners, to freely express themselves uh, as guaranteed under Chapter 4 of the Constitution. So, by and large, it is a law that probably was conceived to deal with the peculiarities of our present challenge, but uh, it, uh, it, it is one that must necessarily be retooled or retweaked uh, in a way that uh, respects the fundamental rights of Nigeria. Earlier, the head of Cybercrime Unit, Federal Ministry of Justice, George Zewa, said the primary aim of the act is to prevent online or internet stalking. He said the act has been worked on to amend those sections that inhibit freedom of speech. <laughs> 